Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will show how to configure seamless server traveling in Unreal Engine in order to travel through levels in multiplayer. Let's begin! For server travel, we will need the Advanced Session plugin. The download link will be in the description of this video. You need to select a plugin for your version of the engine and then download the archive with the plugin, which will need to be unpacked in the plugins folder in your project directory. Or you can simply download my project from GitHub, which will already have server traveling configured. Now let's move on to setting up the launch in the engine. We need to disable the run under one process function for trouble-free testing of server travel. After that, don't forget to enable use seamless travel in your game mode. Now for server traveling to work properly, we need to create a transition map and specify it in the project settings. Now for the sake of example, I'm going to create a few levels. If you already have levels, you don't need to do this. So now I'm going to move on to creating an in-game widget. Before writing the server traveling logic, don't forget that server travel runs on the server. Therefore, we must disable the ability to press buttons on clients. I will do it this way. Now let's start writing the server travel logic. In the URL field, you need to enter the name of your card for server travel. If you need to, you can debug server travel with print string.
To make the process easier, I'll make these nodes into a macro. This is optional. Now we need to set up the widget creation and player controller. Everything is ready for testing. Now let's test it. The launch may take a long time because of disabling the run under one process function in the project settings. So now let's test it. On the client, as you can see, the move buttons are disabled. On the server, the buttons are available. As we can see, everything works successfully. Thank you for watching, I hope the video was useful, and if so, subscribe to the channel and give it a like. Also, do not forget to visit my Discord server at the link in the description. See you next time. Bye.